back to the shop. It's been a week since I pulled the threads out of the block trying to put the heads on the old LS. The parts came in today. I got the ARP head bolts a couple of days ago from Summit since they were shipped UPS. The kit should have been here yesterday, but the good old postal service in Kansas City lost it for a day. But it did make it before the weekend. That's the only thing I was concerned about. Okay, what I bought... There's his information. I love this kit. I have already put one insert in in one of the short bolts. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing and how it was going to work before I started videoing. But let's go through what comes in the kit. And I had really considered piecing together stuff to do this myself. Since I do have the lathe and everything, I can build most of this stuff. But by the time you buy this stuff, you know, all these parts, the taps and everything, it, it adds up. And I was in a hurry, so... I just got the kit and I'm not looking back. But it comes with the inserts that you need. A full set of them to completely do the block. They're nice. Like he uh, says in his advertisement, they're a real nice thick walled insert. You have the bracket to mount to the engine to use as a guide. You put a head bolt one of the factory ones, and he suggests uses a new one because if they've been pulled out, they may stretch, they may not thread back in right. And he sends two spacers. I think this one said it was for the North Star engine. That this one you use on the LS, the shorter one. Goes in there, you can bolt it to the head. Then you have two inserts for this adapter. One with the larger hole is to guide your tap in so it is perfectly straight. The other one is to guide your drill bit in. And when you mount this on the engine, he sends this pin to go in there and that will align it just perfectly with the hole. He also sends a little ruler for measuring the depth. You've got some thread locker. Got some tap magic, which I've already been using. You've got three different taps in this kit, since this is the kit for the 97 to 03 models. Even though mine's an 04 LS, it still had the old style head bolts with two different links, or three different links, counting the real small ones. But you've got your main tap. You have a four flute bottoming tap, which on this setup you don't use. And then this was the special one. It is an extra long tap. Same thread as that, just to get down into the long bolt holes in the block. As you can see here, I've already drilled one. It's already got the insert in it. It was a piece of cake. All went well. No issues at all. Learned a few things doing the first one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he also sends the drill bit, of course, that you need. Sends the drill bit. This one cuts really nice. Didn't grab, cause problems with the aluminum. If you can see on the end there, he even went the extra step and ground the tip off to where when you get to the bottom of the hole, it'll basically just quit drilling. So you won't accidentally keep going and damage your block. Thought that was a nice touch. One of the first things I would suggest you do is drill and tap and put the inserts in before you have the short block together. This would be so easy if the block was completely apart and you were just doing this as uh, preventative maintenance. Now, but I didn't know they were going to pull out, so the block's all together, so you've got to be a lot more careful with all the shavings. All right, we are ready to work on this hole here that had the threads pulled out. It's one of the short ones. One thing I've learned doing uh, one on the other side was that you do not want the tape underneath the fixture to hold it in place because it just doesn't give it enough traction to stay in place, and when you go to drill, it'll try to walk around on you. So everything has to be taped up. I taped up the front down here to make sure nothing got into the, yeah, the front seal 
Make sure to plug these holes back here where your cam sensor goes and where your oil pressure sensor goes. Those will be very important. So to start it off, you have the drill insert, which is the smaller the inserts in there. You have your spacer, your bolt. Put the bolt in the hole there. Start tightening it down. Move that where it's close to the hole. You can take your alignment pin, put it in there, make sure it engages the hole. Hold pressure on it to keep it centered in the hole and go ahead and tighten down your bolt back here. Okay. Pull that out, look down in there, it is exactly centered. So we'll go ahead and tape around the rest of that, make sure nothing gets in, gets into the engine through there. Don't forget your groove here. Make sure to tape it up. Like I said, this would have been so easy to do <laughs> with just a bare block. Tape it up, keep everything out. Now we're ready to drill. Little lube in there then starting out slow speed light pressure get it they start digging go a little ways back it out I frequently clean the threads or clean the hole out and I use compressed air it kind of warns about using compressed air in the in the instructions but it's probably so nobody hurts themselves everything blown out take a quick look Oh yeah, straight down the middle. A little more lube. And keep drilling. to the bottom of the hole. It doesn't taste like the stuff I normally use. Probably due to the nanotechnology. <coughs> I don't like nanos. Lots of shade. Getting close. Er.
And I'm not speeding up this video and I'm not editing it, editing anything out. So, so how long it's taken me is exactly how long it takes. but it is a shop hey we are just about there now listen to this drill bit see how it lost all its resistance that's at the bottom of the hole And since he flattened out the tip, it won't keep drilling. I'm sure she's all cleaned out. Oh yeah, looks good. Okay, now need to start the tapping process so you take out your this is your drill drill guide go get the tap guide drop it in there and it stays in there a little better because it's got a little machine groove for this set screw to hold because I'm thinking he probably builds these and buys those drill ones Because the drill ones look just like the ones we got at work. Okay, so now that's in there. We take the tap. Make sure the tap is clean. More nanotechnology. Set the tap in. Now I've got a tap handle. You could probably, since it's in the guide, you could probably get by with just using a wrench. But it is a lot handier and easier with a handle. So put a little downward pressure. And it just starts cutting immediately. Since it's a starting tap. And just like drilling, we'll need to pull this out several times and blow all the shavings out. I usually go till that hits there. Take it out. Give her another go. The way I've been doing it's been moving that out to the end of the tap. Gains me a little more room. Now I'm out of room again. Back it up. And be careful when you back it up. Don't force it. If it's trying to uh, bind up when you go into reverse, kind of rock it back and forth a couple times because you've got a chip wedged. And you don't want to force it and end up screwing up your nice new threads. Pull that out. Clean the tap. And at this point, you're far enough down in there that you can take the guide off. That makes it easier to clear the chips. Yeah. Set 
that out of the way. Hit him. Don't cover your screw hole up. Good thing I got lots of tape. If you don't have lots of tape, just get a plastic bag or something. That like that. Fill in all around it. Now, you're good to tap all the way to the bottom. Probably, you'll still need to pull it out once or twice more to clear the threads, but on this short hole, this tap will go all the way. Now we go to the longer ones. We'll need to go as far as we can with this and then switch to the extra long tap to get down to the bottom. Mid cast aluminum, this block drills and taps really easy. So it's not a hard process. You're not fighting it all the way. Get close to the bottom, it felt like it was pushing on a pile of shavings. So we'll pull it out. We are real close to being done with this hole. Oh yeah, we was real close. That's all the way to the bottom. Final insertion of the insert, it's a good idea to make sure that it goes down in there smooth to the depth you need it before you Loctite it in. And of course, we'll need to clean everything and dry it out before we apply the Loctite. This is just to make sure there's not a burr on the thread. 
That way you don't get all your Loctite in there, get everything ready to go, and then have to take it back out and clean everything back up because there is a burr. Okay, she's went all the way to the bottom, which there's a certain depth that you set these at. So you measure when you're putting it in. But wanted to make sure she'd go all the way, and she does. So we'll take it back out. Okay, next step is to make sure that hole is perfectly clean and the insert is perfectly clean so that the uh, thread locker will hold. Same with your insert. Now I'll take the uh, supplied thread locker, put some down in the hole. There, some finally came out. Put some on your threads. And you gotta screw that in. Do not get thread locker on the inside of the threads. I'll take the supplied tool. Screw it on down in there. Now for these short ones, it's supposed to be 610 thousandths below the deck surface to the top of the insert. Now he sent the nice little ruler, but I've got calipers, so we're going to use that. Go a little further. Perfect. Now you just need to give that a couple hours to dry before you bolt a head on, put a stud in, whatever you're going to do. Make sure that thread locker is set. And that's all there is to put an insert in one of these. The longer ones on these, actually if you've got the later model one, they'll all be just like this or real close. The early models with the longer ones, you will need to drill deeper and then use the short tap as far as you can, then use the longer tap to go on to the bottom. But otherwise, the process is the same. And put the insert down in the hole a little further. It has a different depth measurement. But that's all there is to it. And that is going to be so much stronger than it was. So I'm probably going to spend most of my Saturday doing all the rest of these holes. And then hopefully tomorrow, we'll get the heads put back on with the new ARP studs. So until then, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.